Hi, and welcome to XR for Work. This is the show where we explore the immersive, virtual, mixed and augmented reality platforms designed for business and professional use. And today we're talking about, um, this is more or less a quick tip about using your platforms in the most productive manner. Now, I uh, am a Windows user and an Android user. And as such, I have access to an application by Microsoft called Your Phone. And if you follow the channel, you have likely seen me talk about or use Your Phone before. But right now we're in the vSpatial Productivity Office. I have up here in what they call the Application Visor, my uh, virtual monitors and the applications that I have running on my laptop across the uh, office here about uh, eight feet away from me. So I can pull down a monitor and uh, just for demonstration purposes, this is the Your Phone app that's running on my PC. So Your Phone app on the PC actually connects to my Android phone. In this case, it's a Surface Duo and allows me to see my notifications on the phone, to send and receive text messages, to uh, share photos back and forth to the, the device. I can even make and receive phone calls actually in the headset. Maybe I'll do a tip on that later. But what I want to talk about today is a recent update that I got to um, my particular device that lets me access um, my Android apps through the PC. Now, given that I'm in VR in an application called vSpatial that connects remotely to my PC and emulates the screen, I have access to my phone apps now uh, here in, in VR. And what's kind of neat and exciting about that is, uh, you know, we, we use our phones all day long and sometimes we get in the headset and that gets cut off from us. So I'm going to close the monitor and I'm going to go up here into the app visor and I'm going to actually grab the Your Phone app and bring it down here. So now I have my Your Phone app here um, as big as I want to make it here in front of me, right? I can be make it like a 70 inch TV here if I want to. And I have access to all that capability uh, via the Your Phone app here in, in VR. And what's really cool is I can scroll through my apps and I can actually launch them um, as a separate window here in, in vSpatial. So if uh, I want to open up Oculus, app is going to open up over here to the right. It, it's in its own window. And and this is the Oculus app that's, that's running on my phone. And you can kind of see that Wow, I mean, again, and I can make it as big as I want, and just using the controllers, I can scroll through here. I can go down and grab the store. Uh, I mean, anything that I can do on my phone, I, I can do here. Um, I can go into the settings, you know, uh, it's limitless. Uh, and so much more uh, efficient, I, I would say, and productive to be able to do it right here in, in VR. And there's a couple of neat little things. And again, I've just started to play with this. I wanted to kind of get this out here for you. I mean, we explore these things um, so that you can go and, and make the most out of it depending on your workflow. Um, but for me, I'm really an advocate of uh, leveraging VR as much as I possibly can. And this is just one of the ways I do it. So I, I can open up my OneNote app here on on my phone you know via your phone and let me just click to add a page and because i'm dealing with again you know the phone interface here everybody's phone interface their keyboard has this little key down here that has a microphone on it so if i press and hold that it's going to actually activate voice recognition on the phone and because i'm close enough in the room that the phone microphone can still pick it up you can see that it's dictating what I'm saying with 100% accuracy right here in the phone. Now, obviously, um, because I'm not directly uh, in front of the phone, it dropped off really quick if it didn't hear my voice. But again, I can click, click tap to start and it's going to start listening to me again. And it's going to start dictating what I'm I'm writing. I can do this in practically any app that's on my phone that's using the phone keyboard. So this is really, really exciting and efficient to me. 
your mileage may vary. All right, so that's one note. So, you know, you can see uh, kind of the utility here. And then above and beyond that, I can actually launch, and it's gonna go over here to the left. This is my actual phone screen. Um, <laughs> here in front of me, again, uh, as big as a monitor. And um, I can actually manipulate it to a degree. Now it gets a little tricky, you know, because you're you're trying to use um, the controller, but, but it works, you know, I can use my joystick, I can go through this, and um, I can launch just about anything, well, not that uh, I can launch on my phone. And so if I click on uh, Facebook, well, here it is on my phone. And I can scroll through here just like I would on my phone. Only <laughs> watching this video here in uh, vSpatial on this huge screen is better than watching it on my 17 inch laptop screen. I mean, this is really, really impressive. And, and I can imagine that I am going to be using this a lot uh, moving forward in the future. Um, so that's it. I, I just wanted to get this out here in front of you. you Definitely, if you have Windows, if you have um, uh, an Android device, uh, you want to try out your phone, you want to see if your device is compatible. Not all Android phones are compatible with this particular feature of being able to run the apps. But if you can, uh, go and try this out um, at your earliest convenience. And I hope this has been helpful and useful to you. And thanks for dropping by, and we'll see you in the metaverse.